Hello guys, this is Anish Rijia with a tutorial on how to make grass move in the wind. This is a horrible example. You can mess with the settings and you can make it more realistic than this. But this is how you basically do it and it took a while to figure out so please like and what have you. Uh, and I got this idea from Altec, his Star Wars animation. It had grass moving like this. And I made it in cubes and not in uh, a plane because it looks better. And make sure to watch my modeling tutorial on how to model Minecraft items. If it's not out yet, I will put it out. Just be patient. And now we want to go rotate this a bit because it's not in the correct position. Uh, make it 45 degrees. Yeah, that's about right. Um, oh. Let me quickly make it 45 degrees and OK. Uh, make sure your cubes are editable, and then we want to set. Uh, uh, we want to make them into a null group objects. Emit grass or something, and then select your two cubes and right click and go to simulation tags cloth. Yeah, it's a cloth, not the wind. And now we want to go to the cloth. So select both of the cloths. Put the gravity at zero just for now. Go to dresser and click on both your cubes and go to edge select. And you want to select all the edges at the bottom of the of your grass and go to to do that. You just go to rectangle selection or something and hold shift and just select all of them like that. But yeah, so do that, select all the edges, and then you want to go to cloth. Oh, by the way, you want to first position your grass, because after you do this, you can't move your grass. Because you have to set the points, so fix points, and press set, and now you can't move the grass. If you want to undo that, just click clear, and clear just clears it, so... Yeah, now go to forces, and you want to put the Y to, zero, uh, to 2, and Z to 0 and wind strength to 2 and you can mess with all the settings go to tags you can mess with this uh, stiffness deflection rubber and bounce and everything so that there are so many uh, things yeah so mess with that and now we need to find the axes so the x axis is going this way so which cloth is this so that's this one and we want it blowing on the and the Z axis. So go to the Z axis and put this one. Select your other cloth and put it on the X axis, which is blowing this way. So put that on one. And if you want them just going this direction, just put them both at one. So that's pretty much the weeks, I guess. And now when you hit play, yay, I did it wrong. <laughs> yeah, this was the opposite. Uh, but yeah, mess with all the settings till you get the desired sort of way. You can even put this at 0 0.5 to make it look better, but that's how you do this. So please comment, rate, subscribe, it helps a lot. It took a long time to make this, So and make sure to watch my modeling tutorial on how to model items. And thanks for watching. Uh, I will put the download for this thing. And yeah, bye. Thanks for watching again.